We continue to bring you coverage of that weekend murder that left Walmart employee Jason Jenkins dead. Since the incident, people have been coming forward as being inside during that stabbing. Our Jess Lipson spoke with one of them today, and Jess, the witness you spoke with actually was the one who filmed the suspect. That's right, David. Heather Reichs was with her boyfriend at Walmart shopping like they do regularly. However, when she spotted a man holding a knife, she took out her phone to film him. Little did she know what that man do had done moments earlier. I, there was another lady in the aisle with me, and we both heard some screaming. And, you know, it's really not uncommon at Walmart to have weird things happening. What Heather Reichs was hearing was the scream of Jason Jenkins, an employee at Walmart who was stabbed to death. The frequent Walmart shopper had no idea what was going on the evening of March 24th when she stumbled upon the man accused of the killing. When I saw the guy throwing the stuff down there, he I, I saw he had the knife, and it was like he was trying to, you know, tell them, I'm get it, you know, but I was like, oh, I won't trust it with it still being in his hand. Heather spotted Timothy Carter, who was holding the knife in the middle of the store. He's been charged with first-degree murder. It wasn't until Heather was in the checkout line that she realized she was filming the accused killer. Footage from her shows Carter being apprehended by security on site. He got taken away. We finished getting a couple of things and we went up to the registers and our cashier was just a mess. I felt so bad. She had tears, tears in her eyes and I wanted to just hug her. Heather said when she saw the suspected killer, her reaction was to take out her phone to film. She said the man was holding a knife and she hadn't realized someone had been hurt. With other shoppers walking casually, she didn't think there was much danger. I was very nervous because I didn't know, you know, who his target was and you know, it could have been anybody, you know, and somebody just coming up to try and stop him could have been stabbed. And um, I, I mean, I, yeah, I wasn't as probably scared as I should have been. There was some distance a little bit between us. Tomorrow, Timothy Carter will be in the Winnebago County Courthouse at 2 p.m. for his appearance. We'll have full coverage of that. David.